Oh baby, oh baby. Hey everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and today I am so excited to talk about something that I am just so personally thrilled about, which is the Dexcom G6 CGM. The Dexcom G6 was finally approved last week, and I am so stoked about it. And it happened to be the same week that I actually went to Dexcom for a headquarter visit, so the timing could not have been better. Personally, I've never been to Dexcom before, and so it was so awesome to be able to actually go to the physical building, like the people that actually physically work there in real life. Like, obviously I know that they're real people, but I've never actually been there before. And Dexcom um, has just meant a lot to me, um, a lot in my personal life, in my YouTube life, just in general. I just love what they do. I love what they stand for. And I think they're an amazing company with an amazing product that I use every day. And that is saving lives. So literally we were going up to Dexcom and I was so genuinely happy and excited and like, my heart just filled with joy for some reason. I was like, I'm actually at Dexcom, like this is amazing. And I got to hear the CEO speak and I got to meet um, one of the people that I've been emailing with because if you don't know, I don't know if I've ever said it on my YouTube channel, but I make YouTube videos for Dexcom's YouTube channel and um, I got to meet the person that I coordinate with for that and so that was amazing to meet her in person. So if you haven't already, make sure you go over to Dexcom's YouTube channel and check out all the videos I've made for them. But that is not what I'm here to talk about today. Today I'm here to talk about Dexcom G6. I, when I saw Dexcom G6 came out, I was so happy and excited and I just wanted to get my hands on it right away. I'm like, I want the G6 right now. I don't want to wait. I am ready. So it's awesome I got to go there because I got to hear them talk all about it um, directly from the source, directly from Dexcom. I got to hear more about the product. I got my questions answered and they actually gave me an inserter. So I'm gonna try it out in this video. They also gave me a transmitter. It is not a real transmitter though. It's real but not live. So it's one of the rejects basically, but this is a real sensor. So I am gonna try it out for the very first time on camera in this video. But first I wanna tell you a little bit more about G6 and what it is. Also, this is not a sponsored video. I just, I just love Dexcom. So before I get into the specifics of this sensor, just an overview what a CGM is. A continuous glucose monitor is a device that checks your blood sugar every five minutes in the case of a Dexcom CGM and it sends it to a receiver or a phone and plots the numbers on a graph for you and then if you either go too high or too low it'll alarm and let you know and so it gives you more information, more knowledge about what your blood sugar is doing so that you can make decisions um, that will affect it hopefully in a positive way um, and it you know prevents extreme hypoglycemia. It helps people that have hypoglycemia unawareness where they can't feel their lows and it can prevent you from being high for too long as well because let's say overnight you go high um, instead of going the entire night having a high blood sugar your thing will alarm for you and let you know. So I have found it immeasurably helpful in my diabetes management and I just love it. So the differences between the G5 and the G6 let's get into it. <clears throat> so I took notes on my very official Dexcom pad of paper so the biggest thing with the Dexcom G6 is that, well, for me personally, what the biggest thing is, is that the FDA approved it to have zero calibrations. If you don't know, the Dexcom G5, um, which is the one before it, obviously, it had a calibration every 12 hours. So every 12 hours, you had to check your blood sugar with a finger poke and enter it into the device so that it could continue its accuracy and be okay. But with this, after you insert it, there's no calibration. There's no calibration even after the two hour warm up period, and there's no calibration the entire time that it's on. It's already calibrated um, in the manufacturing place before it's ever shipped out to you. Not that it wasn't before, it was before as well, but now it's approved that you don't have to calibrate it. However, the thing that I learned when I was at Dexcom is that you can still calibrate the G6 if you want to. So this is one of my frustrations when I tried the Freestyle Libre. Um, I have a separate video on that and if you want to check it out, I will link it down in the description. But one of the things with that is there's no calibrations with that either, but it's a flash glucose monitoring system, so you have to swipe to get the information, it doesn't just give it to you. Um, so it doesn't alert for highs or lows or anything like that. But the thing with that was you can't calibrate it. Even if you want to, you can't. The Dexcom G6, however, um, even though it doesn't require any calibrations, if you look at it and you feel like it's really off and you check your blood sugar and you want to calibrate it, you can. And I love that because sometimes you just want a little control, you know? And again, no calibrations means no startup calibrations. So before, you would insert a sensor, you'd wait two hours, and then you'd have to enter two different finger sticks. Now there's no calibration, so you insert a sensor, you wait two hours, and then it's just good to go. 
The other thing with the G6 is it is approved for 10 days of wear. The G5 uh, was only seven days, so you get three extra days out of your sensor. The one thing that a lot of people are worried about is that you can't trick the system into restarting a sensor anymore, however. So in the past with the G5, people would often, including myself, um, even though it's not FDA approved, <laughs> restart the sensor and get a lot more days wear out of a sensor than just seven. I've heard online of people saying they got like 38 days out of it. Um, on a tour we went on, the guy said that he heard of somebody, the record was like six months, which is crazy. How does it even stick after that long? Um, but most of the time I get like one to two weeks out of my sensors. Um, so they did find a way, I don't know exactly how you can't restart it. Um, but you can't, so <laughs> that little cheat won't be there anymore. But if you think about it, you're relying on it with no calibrations to know your blood sugar. And so if you're restarting it over and over again, accuracy could slip. And if you're really relying on that as your main source of glucose checking, like, you know what I'm saying? So that might be a negative for some people who want to save money and reuse their sensors. Another reason why it's um, only 10 days and you can't restart it is he said the algorithm changes based on day one versus day 10. So as you know with a Dexcom sensor, well maybe you know, that often the first day you insert it, the accuracy is a little off with the G5, um, but with the G6 they said they fixed that problem and so that's why it really matters that it's just 10 days because day one versus day 10 is very different. The transmitter, however, is still just for three months, just like the G5 has been. But a big update with this system is the inserter device. So the G5 inserter, um, I'm sure you guys have seen it. I have a lot of videos of me putting it in. Well, not a lot, but a few. It's kind of intimidating. People don't love it. Let me go get one. So this is what the old inserter looked like. This is kind of like a syringe type thing that would shoot the needle in and this is the adhesive where you put it on your body. And so it was more of a plunger style. You have to push the needle in, pull it back out, and then rock the applicator forward to take it off. This one is a lot easier, a lot simpler, um, especially if you're just using one hand or if you're a kid or if you're an older adult who has trouble with dexterity. The other one was pretty complicated and this one is just a one button push. Something I learned when I was there though, I didn't realize this is not a reusable inserter. Um, so the whole thing is actually disposable and so you get a new one of these every time. Even though to me it looks like, how could this be reusable? Like look, look at it. Um, they did say it uses about the same amount of plastic as the old inserter, so I don't know. And he was kind of like, you know, if we could make it smaller, we would. Like we have to do what we have to do and this is as small as I could get it for now. I say for now just because you never know what's going to be down the road, but. And it inserts so quickly that it's supposed to be pain free actually. So they say it inserts as quickly as the flutter of a hummingbird's wing. Um, and they said that in the early testing, people actually thought that it didn't work, that it didn't go in because they didn't feel it and it didn't make any noise. So they actually had to add a clicking sound to it so that you knew that it deployed and went in um, because otherwise it was so quiet, so fast and so painless that people didn't even know it went in. So I'm excited to try it out. Another thing with the G6 that was added is the urgent low soon alarm. So this is a brand new alert that was not in the previous versions of Dexcom. And this alerts you if your blood sugar is going to be low within 30 minutes. If it predicts that it's gonna be low within 30 minutes, it'll alarm and let you know so that you can take action to prevent the low, which is so awesome because often I'll look at my Dexcom and if I'm dropping or I'm nearing low and I can tell like, oh, like the air is going down, I'm 80. I'll eat a snack or I will turn off my insulin for a tiny bit or at least decrease my insulin for a little bit. And so now it'll actually alert you, which is awesome. And it won't re-alarm once you go low um, unless 30 minutes pass and you're still low, then it'll let you know. But otherwise it kind of assumes like, we let you know you're about to be low, maybe you should take care of it. <laughs> and then another awesome feature of the G6 is that the Tylenol thing is no longer a thing. So with the old Dexcom, the Dexcom G5, um, if you were taking Tylenol, it would affect the reading and they didn't um, guarantee the accuracy. Basically, if you're on Tylenol, Tylenol could really affect what numbers you were seeing on your CGM. But now they've made a way to be acetaminophen blocking, so Tylenol blocking, so that it doesn't affect the numbers. It was tested with a thousand milligram extra strength oral Tylenol. And then also with the transmitter, they made it a lot smaller, a lot thinner.
So they said that they're shooting for the beginning of June to release the Dexcom G6 out to the public, uh, the real deal. And if you already have one of their newer receivers, the ones that look like a phone with the big screen, it's a touch screen, um, they said they'll be able to update those in the field. So like when you already have it, you can update it at home is what it sounded like to me. All right, so I think those are the main things that I wanted to say about the Dexcom G6. I'm so excited for when it actually goes live and is shipped out and you can download the app. Um, for now, I'm just going to go ahead and insert my first G6 sensor. Again, I'm not gonna be able to use it because I don't have the app or a real transmitter that's live, um, but I'm excited to see what it's like. I'm gonna open this guy up. It just has a pull off on the back. And take this out. So I know that you pull this tab off to get it started. Oh, that was easy. Just pops right off. And that's kind of the safety lock and this is the button. So I'm just going to pull off the tabs. Oh, it's got two little, oh, that's nice. Pull tabs on it. The two little tab pulls make it a little bit easier than the G5. And then I'm told you just put it on and push the button. So let's do it. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Whoa. That feels so much different than the G5. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's so easy to pull off. Oh my gosh, I loved it. You can kind of see inside the needle is in there now. Crazy. And then here's this. Um, I haven't really seen this part yet which holds the transmitter. It's really interesting. It goes all the way around. And then those are the little um, parts where, you know, the contact points or whatever. And there's a big empty space here for the majority of the transmitter. It looks so different, it's crazy. It really encircles the whole thing, looks like. So let's see if it'll let me put it in, even though it's not really a real one. I've never done this before. Um, I wonder, nope. Okay. So you dip the smaller side in first, and then go like this. Oh, cool! Look at that! Slick! Just overall, it's a lot more like smooth and flush. Um, the other one, I don't know, it just like has pieces sticking off on the end, you know, the little uh, claws where it goes together and everything, and this is just kind of like smooth, you know, and more flat. I like it. Oh my gosh, it's so much flatter under my shirt. Look at that. It's so little. My other one would be popping. That's crazy. I have the Dexcom G5 on my arm right now so you can kind of see the difference. It's really popping out there. It's got this crazy stuff on the side where it clips in. It's just much different. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. That was so cool. So honestly, when I was showing you the two different transmitters and their sizes, on camera, I was like, this really doesn't look that much smaller. But as someone who's worn the Dexcom for years, I can say it feels smaller. Like, it feels smooth and flatter, and it's just, I notice a difference for sure. It's awesome. And you're probably wondering, did it hurt? Um, it was weird, like, I felt it go in, for sure. Um, it wasn't, it was just so much different than the G5. Like, the G5, sometimes I don't feel it. Other times it hurts. <laughs> um, it just kind of depends. And it has this very specific feel to it when it's going in. This one felt so much different. It was a lot lighter. It was more like a flick, I guess. Um, like, it didn't sting. I don't know, it was like a flick. It was like a flutter. like. Like quick, little flick, but not not anything crazy, and yeah, pretty much barely felt it. And what I did feel was just like a light little, I don't know, it's hard to explain. <laughs> but yeah, definitely I would say an upgrade from the G5 in terms of insertion. So yeah, I think that kind of covers everything for now. Um, of course, I will update you once I actually get the real Dexcom G6 for myself, but for now I'm so excited that I got to learn more about it and I got to try it out and I got to go to Dexcom headquarters and also um, tour, I don't know if I mentioned this, I also toured the manufacturing part of it and got to see how they make 
Dexcom, and it was just so cool. Like, did you know that every single sensor they put in like a vat of different concentrations of glucose from like 40 to 400 and it's spinning so that it stays the same concentration and every single sensor is tested to make sure the number that the sensor gets is a similar number to the number of the concentration of the sugar in that liquid. Did I explain that well? I don't know. They had different things of what looked like water that was spinning and sensors in each one to test them out. Like, so cool. I had no idea how they make this stuff. Um, technology is awesome. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I make new videos about diabetes all the time. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Did I already say that? Probably. And thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. Awesome. I'm so excited about this. Crazy cool.